We're going to talk to my good friend, Madeline Feldman. So let's get this microphone a little closer to you. Howdy. Let's get all set. I think we're doing okay. All right, let me do one little thing real quick. We're using some new software today. I just want to make sure that we have the right frame going out on YouTube. Yes, success. All right. Madeline. Jason. How are you? I'm so good and well caffeinated. How yes, I, I was able to grab a cup of coffee when I went down for announcements earlier. Cheers. We've been, cheers. We've been up here setting up since about 9.15. So, okay. so but we have a... Uh, it's a little bit of a hazy day, but we always have our nice little view behind us here of Las Vegas. And it is beautiful. Your setup here is amazing. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. This is a this has been a little bit of a labor of love and a lot of trial and error for the last year and a half. And we've been we've been doing these live from Tech Alley since May. Yes. So when we're it's a great opportunity for us to talk to folks who are part of the tech community here, part of the startup community, part of the entrepreneur community in an environment we wouldn't normally get to talk to them. So I love it. So let me do a little bit of the housekeeping I like to do okay. before we dig in. So we are here at Tech Alley today, September 2024, downtown Las Vegas, right at the corner of Charleston and Maine. We are headquartered on the beautiful roof deck of Taverna Costera, who is the lunch sponsor, the coffee sponsor, the water sponsor, basically the, the whole we get to do this here sponsor for the Tech Alley event. And there are lots of talks going on. If you uh, caught what Dave was filming downstairs, you have the whole rundown of all the crypto, AI, drone, demos, apps, tech startup uh, talks that are gonna go on today. So if you're in Las Vegas or you can get to Las Vegas, come on down, see the talks at Tech Alley, talk to the great people who are doing amazing work in our tech community, have a free lunch on Tech Alley and Taverna Costera. But now let's talk to Madeline, who is with Startup NV. So tell us a little about Startup NV, tell us about you, tell us, tell us what you're doing out here today. All right, so my life story, <laughs> No, Startup Envy is Nevada statewide incubator and accelerator. Mm -hmm. We have more than nine free programs for founders at all stages. So you can check out our website, startupenvy.org. There's cohort based, there's online, a little bit of everything for everyone for mm -hmm. startups throughout Nevada. Yep. Our team also facilitates a number of for profit venture funds and angel groups. So we're working on raising more capital for Nevada startups. Love it. And addressing kind of all aspects of the ecosystem here. Fantastic. So you have a you have an event coming up next week. So tell yes. us a little about that. Let's let's do the whole rundown of what's coming up because I know with Startup NV there are probably people who are watching and people who are here today who are going to be interested in the things you have coming up in a couple months and even in the next year. So let's okay. start with next week's event and then we'll kind of work down the calendar. Awesome. So we have two events next week. We have our fortnightly. So every other week, Wednesdays at two p.m. at the Innovation Center downtown, we have our pitch day for hundred k. Okay. So two Nevada-based startups will pitch. Can you say who they are? I do if, not. If the answer is no, if, <laughs> if the answer is no, and you can't, or if you just don't know yet, that either way is okay. But but a little mystery is good. Maybe check in with us uh, again, and we'll tell you what you those can, startups were. You can follow us on LinkedIn, and we'll tell you who the startups are before the event. And where can uh, they follow on you on Wednesday. LinkedIn? At Startup NB. Okay, awesome. I yes. know I follow you, but I don't know it off the top of my head. So. Yes. Um, so that will be two companies pitching for a hundred thousand dollar investment, and mm -hmm. that includes acceptance into the accelerator program, Accelerate mm -hmm. NB. So decisions aren't made at the event, but the investment committee and attendees that come in person or online can ask questions, and there's Q and A for the founders after the pitches. Yep. And then on Thursday at WeWork Town Square, we have our Founder NB Masterclass. It's a master class, but with adult beverages. Yes, master glass. Don't don't misunderstand that she <laughs> did not a say, typo. <laughs> she did say master glass, which is why I'm interested in going. There you go. We will have Sarah Callison, who is a data expert, will be doing a session on um, startups applying data for success and how to find product market fit faster using data. So data is a hot topic right now. Everybody knows that data is important, but actually, you know, being able to implement it and make the most of it in your business can be a, a significant leg up. I, I think that's fantastic. I think you're, it's great you're doing it in the sense of product market fit, because you and I both know from our backgrounds how important figuring out product market fit as early as possible is. Yes. And we on this podcast and other podcasts that we're involved in always talk about you got to go, you got to keep working on your product market fit. You got to find your product market fit. And a lot of founders go, that makes a lot of sense. How do I do that? And we go... Uh, figure it out. Good luck. You're you're the 
you're the entrepreneur, but I think this is gonna be a great way where Sarah will be able to tell us, okay, here's some things you can do, some best practices you can use to try to figure out your product market fit. Definitely, and it's so. free, and there's pizza and beer. Mm -hmm. We work town square. And founders. We, we work Town Square in Las Vegas. There's lots and lots and lots of cool tech stuff coming up. We were just at Robotics Meetup capturing some video on nice. Thursday night. Um, we just did a Vets and Tech event on Wednesday. Night. Lots of great tech community stuff going on in Las Vegas. I know a lot of people don't know about that, and that's okay. That's why we're doing this, this live stream so people do know about it. So you talked about throughout the year, about every other week, you have two companies pitch opportunity for 100K, and then mm -hmm. if they get selected, they get put into the Accelerator, the Accelerate NV program. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Accelerate NV. Yes, so Accelerate NV is uh, a little bit atypical in its structure. A lot of accelerators are time-bounded and bootcamp-based, so founders may need to commit to that bootcamp for three months of their life and maybe relocate somewhere, or, um, you know, it's, it's very compounded and uniform. Ours is unique to each founder, so it's more of an a la carte situation where uh, once a founder gets into the accelerator, they're paired with a coach. Mm -hmm. They get specific KPIs and things that you know they need to work on for their particular company and where they're at. Mm -hmm. And then they get access to our entire mentor network, all of our curriculum and programs, and the goal is to get to 500,000 in ARR. That's mm -hmm. kind of the, the marker for when the accelerator that's, has done its that's, role. That's the marker for those who don't know about uh, angel investing and VC investing and that kind of thing. Five hundred thousand dollars in ARR is when they start looking at you. Maybe maybe you've gotten like a small seed investment. You've done friends and family money mm -hmm. or something like Accelerate NV, where you've gotten a hundred thousand dollars to yep. to kind of get yourself going. Five hundred thousand dollars is where it starts to look like you've got enough traction here in the twenty twenties. Very different than ten years ago when investors were handing out money just based on a, a good idea and a right. wireframe drawing uh, yeah. on a napkin. So, but five hundred thousand dollars is is about where angel investors will start looking at you for a serious seed round, mm -hmm. or or VCs will start kind of courting you for that bigger round, that round of raising a couple million dollars. So exactly. We're correct. Yep. Definitely. Traction matters. Traction matters in 2024. It it's going to matter in 2025. And I'm going to go go out on a limb right now. I'm going to say it's going to matter in 2026 and 2027, too. I would place my bets with you. Yes. yes. Good. <laughs> well, we're in Vegas, so we like placing bets. That so we do. Tell us about, because I know you said there's nine programs in Startup NV. Yes. And they're all a little bit different, and they're all great for founders of different experience levels and founders whose companies are at different stages. So we talked about... Uh, the kind of the the what we all know and love is the original basic startup NV program and getting into accelerate NV. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other programs uh, in startup NV? Because you have one that I really like, which is Angel NV. Mm -hmm. You're still doing that, right? Yes. Tell me a little bit about Angel NV and why it's great for investors and why it's great for founders. Totally. So Angel NV is my favorite program as well. Mine. Yeah. Um, so each year we get a minimum of 40 investors to invest a minimum of $5,000, mm -hmm. which is a very low barrier to entry. Do, do the math on your own at home, because I'm not going to do it. At least $200,000. Yeah. And we <laughs> aim for more than that, which is then matched by the SSBCI state mm -hmm. program. Um, so these investors get together and spend a couple months getting to know each other, building an investor community, as well as learning how to source and evaluate and do the diligence on investments. So it's really meant to kick off an investor's um, portfolio, make a couple investments, and, and learn how to. That's okay. They won't hear it on the microphones. Okay. Okay. <laughs> At least we hope. Um, you got to be really close to these microphones to pick anything up. And learn how to keep uh, building their portfolio. And a lot of folks do come back year after year just because the community and the experience is so great. So last year, I believe we had 180. Uh, companies apply. Mm -hmm. So it has to be Nevada based startups apply for the investment, and either one or two and, will get the final investment. And what does it mean to be Nevada based? Yes. So Nevada based means that either one of the founders is based out of here, or there's core operations here, that there's potential for significant job mm -hmm. um, opportunity because we're, you know, our mission is all about economic diversification in mm -hmm. Nevada. So you need to be able to show that you are contributing or plan to contribute to the local economy here yeah. and provide jobs and 
we're, we're going to be almost 3 million people by 2032 here in the law, and just in Southern Nevada in what we call the Las Vegas Valley and a little bit beyond. And you're looking behind me, you're seeing our beautiful view of, the, well, not so beautiful today because it's really hazy, but normally you would see a fantastic view of the Las Vegas Strip and, and downtown. But um, only about 300 to 400,000 people of our two and a half million people now work in those, in those areas. And everybody else kind of works everywhere else. And we've got, we've got young kids who are growing up looking for career opportunities. We've got really talented kids working at our two Air Force bases in town who we'd love to keep that tech talent in town, but we have to create opportunities for them. So that's one of the reasons why some of our programs here in Southern, in Nevada statewide, but also Southern Nevada for investment are so focused on why we want you to be Nevada based. And we want you to be, we like, we, we like having you here because it's easy to reach out and touch you and say, hey, how are things going with my investment? But also we're trying to create a little bit of economic diversity so that young folks have young folks and veterans and old folks who are coming to town have some different career opportunities that they might not have had 10 years ago. Totally. And we hope that, you know, the founders that are able to raise capital here and scale here and provide job growth and maybe they scale a couple companies and then those founders become the mentors and the investors of the next generation. It's kind of this virtuous, you know, cycle of entrepreneurship yeah. that we're looking to build yeah. here. So, and uh, so I interrupted you a little bit, but when we do Angel Envy, it's a little bit of a competition. It's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of the uh, American Idol, the, the, the America's Got Talent of, of investing here in Southern Nevada. So uh, what, tell us what the numbers broke out last year for, because it's every April is when mm -hmm. you go through, do the evaluations, and announce the winners of, I don't know if you guys call them winners, but that's kind of what it is of Angel NV. It is a winner, but it is an investment, so it's not just prize money. Um, but they are winners, and you're absolutely right. This year, the finale event will actually be on March 29th. Oh, early. So we're, yes, we're starting a little earlier, condensing the investor um, program just a little bit. And from those initial 180 companies or so, we narrow it down to about 40. And then from there, it gets progressively smaller and smaller. Um, so it's, it's going to be a whole different kind of March Madness here in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes. There you go. I just gave you your theme there you for go. the year. So. There we go. Perfect. Um, and the first round is three-minute pitches, and then it's 10-minute pitches, and then it's deep due diligence. And then at the finale event, there's a top six or a top seven. Mm -hmm. And the investors actually vote at the finale event. Mm -hmm. um, and if an investor invests more than 5,000, they can get another vote for mm -hmm. each 5,000. Um, and there's some side bets usually going on amongst the investors it, as well. It is Vegas. And, and I will tell you, I didn't go this past year, but I went the year before to the finale. And it is a super, super fun event. So if you're, so if you're able to go and, and you want to contact Madeline about how you can go and see uh, how the sausage is made and see some really, really great companies do some pitching, Talk to Madeline and find out how you can come to that, or just uh, we'll uh, reach out to Madeline and find out how you can watch online some of the great pitches that go on year round through Startup NV. Yes, definitely. And I tell founders too, five thousand, you know, is such a, a depending on where you are in your life and your company stage, you know, an affordable investment. So it's an opportunity for founders too who yeah. want to sit on the other side of the table. It's really good education uh, on that yeah. end. Yeah, it, it is. So. Uh, I am not an disclaimer. I am not an angel at NV. I'm not actively investing money right now in uh, startups or anything like that. But as an MBA student, I was part of Rebel Venture Fund mm -hmm. at UNLV, investing donated money from investors yep. in that fund. And so I've sat on the other side of the table, looking at pitches and looking at deals, and five thousand dollars pooled up with a bunch of other investors in an environment where you are getting mentored mm -hmm. by folks who have been successful founders, entrepreneurs, and investors before right. is a really low risk way of getting into angel investing and starting to learn the ropes a little bit exactly. without having to go, go get involved, like just starting, starting to hear pitches from companies and go put in 10,000 or 20,000 or $50,000 right. of your own money. It's a, it's a really nice way, say, safer, no investment is sure, right? Right. Um, it's it's a it's a nice way and it's a good community to kind of learn the ropes a little bit. So totally. one of my favorite things about why you guys are doing Angel NV it's it's making uh, we can just like we're making great founders and great entrepreneurs, we're starting to make really savvy investors as well. Exactly, exactly. And the more capital 
you know, we can raise here in Nevada, the more startups we can fund in Nevada, and so on and yep. so forth. If you've got capital, bring it to us. So, yes, so totally. get involved with Startup NV. Um, what else is coming up for Startup NV this year? What are some of the other programs you want to you want to plug in Startup NV? Yeah. So we have three programs and one big event coming up. Okay. Um, the other side of the Angel NV investor experience is we do a due diligence boot camp for founders. So that kicks off in the end of October, and it is, I believe, six weeks. Uh, Six-week cohort-based. This, this is the internet. Nobody's going to hold you to anything. So. Go to our website and confirm mm. everything I say. Um, fact check. Fact check. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really focused on due diligence and making sure that you have all the financials and the items uh, in place in the way that investors like to see them so that you are prepared for those funding conversations to advance. So that is probably the most advanced program we have coming up for companies that are raising or getting ready to raise. Um, the next core ho we have coming up also in the end of October is Incubate Vegas. And this is for founders, especially underserved founders throughout Clark County. So as long as you live in Clark County, mm -hmm. you can join Incubate Vegas. And that's a program for either the startup curious or you have an idea or you have a business that's, that you're looking to scale. Again, it's free. Um, we have amazing mentors that, that work with those cohorts, and that's one of our, our largest um, and most loved programs. It's, it's great because just like we talked about Angel Envy being a, a nice way to ease into it and learn the ropes, Incubate Vegas is a great way for someone who's maybe on their first startup to learn right. like those things like product market fit. Sometimes yep. you learn and you go, okay, my product and the market don't fit. I either need to pivot which is a word you will learn, yes. or you will go, this is a bad idea, I need to, I need to start a new business. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then the third program we have coming up is uh, Startup NV's Entrepreneurial Readiness Program, SERP for short. <laughs> and that we'll, is a we'll virtual work, We'll program. work on the name. <laughs> I know. We're running out of names. We've got a lot of programs. <laughs> you guys have some... I mean, you gave us a March Madness thing, so maybe you'll yeah. help us with the branding. Right. Lightning, <laughs> lightning may strike twice. Perfect. So this is a completely virtual program for founders anywhere throughout Nevada. Um, so if you have a schedule that's difficult to make you know, a, a time-based program or certain events, this is uh, at your own pace, very flexible, but you've got to have some self-discipline to go through that. Um, and that's also kicking off in the end of October. And then the big event we have coming up in October mm -hmm. is Techstars Startup Week Las Vegas. So that's October 15th through 19th, five days of workshops, panels, speakers, keynotes, parties, all kinds of amazing programming for startups, startup curious, investors, community partners, and it's all free to attend. All right, well mark your calendar for October 15th through 19th, yes. and it's all over town here, right? So It is, we're in a different location, each uh, different part of town each day. Okay. Yes. Well, I can't wait, that's gonna be very exciting. I, I also missed that last year because I didn't get my act together, but I will definitely be at, definitely be at uh, some of the uh, the Tech Stars Week stuff yes, this year. Yes, so. your calendar is marked. My cal I it's not marked yet, but I, it's it's on the internet and it's getting <laughs> saved on video. So I guess I'm going to have to do it. All so right. Better better it's than documented. a better than a to do list. So yes. all right. Anything else we should know about you, Madeline, before uh, before we let you go and enjoy Tech Alley for the day? No, I mean I'm just thank you so much for the conversation. I'm super stoked to be at Tech Alley today. See this community. I always love seeing you, Jason, yeah. and all that you do for our ecosystem. Yeah. Well, we will do a longer interview about you, more in particular, on the leader's mindset sometime. But I definitely wanted to make sure we got everything out about what's coming up with Startup NV, just Perfect. because we don't get to talk to you that often, and uh, we need to do it more. Yes, we do. But uh, there's a ton of the fall. The fall and the spring are the really big times for Startup NV. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure we got all that out since we had you here today. So. Well, thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Enjoy My Tech pleasure. Alley. And we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get you all these links and all these videos and all that kind of stuff. See. So Thanks, Jason. All right. Have a great day. You too.